Headed to the Alamo. I didn't know it was right here. It's like right there. <laughs> See a little piece of American history? I'm just curious, Ty. What is the history of the Alamo? Uh, does the Canadian not want to tell us? No, no, I only know bits and pieces. So it. I know it was the last stand. There was Jim Bowie was here, Davy Crockett was here, Santa Ana attacked. Everybody got massacred, and that was the last rallying call. Eventually, Sam Houston came after that. Like, you just name dropping. I was name dropping. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I read books. I think instead of focusing on the Mexicans, we should turn our attention north. We should, we should attack Canada. We actually, I fought in Canada in December, and just the worst people. Like, the, I, I hope a Canadian sees this, and like, they're just like not good people. He's just saying that. I'm not. I feel really good, you know what I mean? It's the best camp I've had. I feel like the longer the fight goes on, the better it's gonna be for me. I know he's gonna be trying to look at, uh, to get it out of the first round, but I don't think it's gonna work for him, man. Like, a lot of guys, like, the closer it gets to the fight, the more nervous they get. For me, it's been, like, the opposite. As soon as I saw my opponent and, you know, shook his hand, sized him up, I'm like, I'm even more confident. I train with bigger, stronger, I think better guys all the time. So, and I think, I think size is gonna be a big factor in this fight, like I really do. Honestly, if I'm his coach, I would not tell him to fight at 205. I would be telling him to fight at 85. Um, but I think it's gonna be a pretty big factor and I, I think he's gonna be in for a surprise. Early when I was training, oh, and uh, first year I was training because Jim O told me I can't just watch practice. I have to be working on something if I'm not able to work on the mats. So I was telling me like, if you can't work out, you got to work within. I know it's like a little circus trick, but staying focused while you do it. Working on four, got three kind of down, but just helped me dial in. Now I do it before fights and training to stay focused. We like going over the fight, like just letting him do his own thing. We already did everything we needed to do in the gym, training him. Everything's gone perfect. He's been healthy, has had no injuries. So work, work, work your feints, your level changes, there we go. He's done everything we've asked of him as coaches and he's ready to go. Boom, boom, yes. That's why you don't pull out. We have like the mindset that we're ready for whoever because you never know what could happen, you know? Maybe the guy drops out, anything could happen. So we just focus what we're good at and then let them figure out what we do. Don't get wild. Time. Dialing in, you know, refining, sharpening up, sticking to the game plan my coaches came up with and, you know, trusting them, visualizing how we're going to claim this victory. Taking the corrections and, you know, beautiful session. One more session tonight and get some rest. Remember to double up on those. Boom, same side. Hey. We just had a nice and easy warm up. And then we're going to do some top up there to wake uh, the body up. We do this every time, two and three days from the match. We are increasing the speed, but we are keeping it calm in the head, like in the fight. If the fight uh, goes hard, but we are calm all the time, all the time calm. We just train, do what we want to do in the fight, but every other day you want to get the tempo up a little bit. So just a little easy sprints, just to wake the body up. So fight week is all about game plan and making them feel good. You know, stick what you want to do in the fight. You don't show any new things. Just stick to the game plan and repeat, repeat everything that you're going to do in the fight. Just feeling like a machine. Feeling huge, feeling insane. Yeah, it's good, good stuff.
today with our training. Basically, training right now is losing weight. Still go over some specific stuff just to work on the fight that we've been working on in camp. But at the end of the day, right now, it's all about making the weight little by little during the week, waking up every morning a little less, a little less. But uh, you know, all the hard work has been put in for the previous seven, eight weeks. So any separation, yep, right there, let your hands go. And then if you wanna go back for that takedown, then you go for it. Bring that across, boom, hop, hop, nice. Very good, rest. I'm learning that the best Chris Wade is the one that gets right in your face and makes the fight uncomfortable. It just is. When you see me sitting back and I'm letting the other guy fight his fight, I just don't compete as well. One more time. I can hear them breathing heavy. I can see them gasping for air, and that does something for me mentally. Everything that I do is with intent to finish the fight. There's not going to be much settling in. One, two, one. Yep, shoot that up. One, two, one. 